Yep. Yep. Like in daily dining, there we were with our backs against the wall, looking at each other like air hey, boys. In daily dining, there I was back to square uno with more cues than A's. Like in daily dining, none of their brains could comprehend what I had just told them. It was as if the whole story had been narrated in Italian. The all news was my day uno. Yet here I was asking questions like daily dining. Maybe I should simply forgive, but if I do, should I let go or not? Like in daily dining. Maybe it's time I believed it was best for me to simply keep dreaming. Maybe I shouldn't have been quick to wake up. I should have simply kept sleeping. I shouldn't have told everyone the Almighty had my prayer answered. I should have simply sat back and watched life unfold. I should have simply pretended that between us, nothing was happening. Baby girl has always been better than me. At least that's what I've always believed. She's always been more committed. Trust me, it's what I've always seen, not just believed. Baby girl has been to church more than I have. I know it's more than something that I've simply believed. She's laid more than a dozen prayer sessions. A prayer warrior in the eyes of her followers is how she's lived. Baby has shared more than just a single committee. You gotta believe me, she's been more than just committed. You know how much I loved her, bro? My eyes still give way whenever I talk about her. She came at my darkest hour. She was my shining star. My head aches whenever my mind reminds me of how broken my heart still is. Like Daddy Danny, do I still keep her or not? I wish I had options I could pick from with ease. Hey boys, I don't even know where to start from. I honestly never expected her to have been meeting him at such an hour. No, not in his room. I never thought I would ever spend the night with her. No, bro, not in her room. To me, they were simply wet mates. The girl was simply helping her make headway with her attachments. You gotta believe me, I trusted her. The guy was nothing but her mentor. I never doubted any of her statements. I remember how we used to tell each other we we're truly destined to be together for the rest of our lives. I mean, before attachments separated us, we both said we fight so hard to keep our relationship alive. Now I feel like I'll be later be blamed for the death of the relationship. I gotta decide whether or not I'm gonna stay. It's crazy how she was the one who used to tell me we got us the pure the night of our wedding day. I thought guys were the only ones struggling with their sexuality, fighting hard to keep it all together on a day. I honestly couldn't believe my ears. I didn't perceive it. The mention of her name flooding my eyes with tears. But her classmate had me confused. It was her she had seen at the covers. Her mentor's roommate agreed. My girl was the reason who was often forced to spend the night elsewhere, excusing them lovers. Yet during that time, I never suspected anything. I thought she was behaving herself, honestly. I was simply unaware. She had me believing. She was often just working late hours. She at times told me she was with her mentor. Yet I never thought it would turn this sour. Yet here we are, back from the attachments, with me standing between a rock and a hard place. One more semester, and we'll be out of this place. Yet I ain't so sure what to do next, like Ndeti Dani. Do I forgive her? If I do, do I still keep her? Believe me, on a daily I'm being killed by this thought. Granted, just can walk out of this place the one he walked in, bruh, nah. Besides the homes, at least he needs someone he can call dear. But the confusion is currently so overwhelming. If I forgive her, how do I trust her? What if she keeps on pretending? If I forgive her but decide to drop her, with better girl, how long do I keep on waiting? Plus, do you really expect me to get another one from church so my heart keeps breaking? I mean, how sure will I be? Them church girls ain't all the same. Would I be lying? None of them had answers, and so we simply kept looking at each other like airboys. Digital.